Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes. And I know you're saying... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. And I'm still going to be like, why not? Because the can can and the can can, the can can, the can can, and a wheel. Child, I don't know how true it is. I don't know how true it is. But they're saying Nene Leaks is selling her dazzling 2.5 million Atlanta apartment. Okay, that's what's being reported today by the AJC, meaning Atlanta Journal Constitution. I was a uh, paper down here. Child family, they say in the Real Housewives of Atlanta, star Nene Leaks is selling her 2.5 million Atlanta apartment, according to Realtor.com. The reality TV star has had the living space for less than a year, but appears to be moving on from the Buckhead condo. Leaks purchased the condo, a part of the five-star Wardrop Asteria Hotel, for one point. 85 million in November of 2021. The residence comes with security, a four car garage, and a separate gated townhouse. The Atlanta Journal Constitution separately confirmed that a condo at the Wardorf Astoria Hotel address is owned by a Leaks, Lanithia M., Nene Leaks' birth name, according to Fulton County Property Records. A condo currently being sold at Wardorf Astoria Hotel matches the address, and Realtor.com reported sales price of the property but leaks has not made a statement confirming that it is her condo the Atlanta constitution has reached out to s ansley real estate who is responsible for the property to investigate the listing okay the magnificent home offers re renowned style unparalleled service and superb ambiance the li uh, listed said the grand foyer opens to a sprawling open floor plan and some of the most incredible sunset and city views available in Atlanta. The 3,541 square foot condo is being sold for 2.4 million. It features three bath, three bedrooms, 3.5 bathrooms, and a contemporary high rise of six or more stories. It has heated pool fireplace balcony and more according to the Ansley real estate the ward of Asteria condo owners enjoy all the services and amenities of a five-star hotel including 24-hour in room dining room dining service housekeeping and concierge services the list is said but along with that the building is also home to a lavish world-class spa showcasing any array of luxurious features like an indoor pool jacuzzi sauna steam room and treatment rooms residents at the ward of astoria also enjoy valet parking a gourmet restaurant and a bar with the hotel and a state-of-the-art fitness center before living it up in Buckhead, Leaks had a mansion in Duluth. Leaks put the 10,000 square foot, five bedroom, and seven bathroom home on the market for four million in 2021 after purchasing it for two million and seventy-five thousand in February tw 2015. Leaks have just lost her husband, Greg Leaks, to cancer that September. Leaks was mostly recently in headlines after it was discovered that the reality television star had been estranged in a lawsuit. Leaks has been accused by her boyfriend's wife of stealing her husband. In the late lawsuit, or in the lawsuit, we're going to still call her Mal, uh, which is Scammerman Shaba's wife, uh, claims Leaks began dating uh, Shaba Man, Shaba, Scammer, Shaba Baba, while he was still married to her. Um, Mal says she has suffered emotional stress, mental anguish, and a lot of affection as a result. Okay. So y'all heard it first from me. 
to your ears in Atlanta. Yes, Atlanta Journal Constitution newspaper rag. Put it out first. Because I ain't know. I said, what, am I looking at the right thing? I said, girl, we need to go find Simone. Simone, where are you? Simone. Yes, you told the truth, boo-boo. You, Nene about to lose everything. I'm like, what's going on, Nene, girl? You just moved down there. I told you not to move down there. I said, get you another house for about 200000 $300,000 and live, you know, rent-free. Because you got the money to pay it off along with the land. You could have had, um, what do you call it? A, 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 a 10 foot. Well, probably not a 10 foot. But, you know, you could have had some fences going around private. Residential fencing. Girl, that's too much. I knew you weren't going to like it down there because they ain't your side. You country, baby. You need that. You need the road, and you need people on the side of you. You want to smell and look. You know what I'm saying? You want that little scenery where you can go, what, three minutes, and you have another house there. Three more minutes, you have another house there. See, that's the kind of stuff you like. You know you weren't born up in no apartment, girl. You lived in houses all your life. What the hell going on with you? But we really need to get to Simone. Simone, we need to get to Simone Bryson's girlfriend, baby daddy. That's Brent right there. Brent probably told him, Mama, he ain't like living down here. He probably said, I don't like this shit. I want another house, Mom. We need to make it happen. We need to make it happen right now. And of course, Nene jumped off her house horse and said, Okay, baby, we're going to get it. We're going to get it done. We're going to sell this piece of shit. We're going to move on into the sunset. Hey, why are we doing that? Do we want to stay in Atlanta still? Hell no. Nah. We're going to need to go somewhere else. We need to go somewhere else, honey. And don't take your behind down to North Carolina where Scammer Man Shaba wife Leo. Okay, that would be a bad, bad move, Nene Lanithia Monique leaks okay but that's all i got for now y'all girl i'm like what in the hell is going on nene losing jobs she losing her freaking mind she had to put a house up because she couldn't afford it then she went over here and act stupid and put some millions on an apartment condo whatever how you ever want to look at it uh down down there and i knew she wasn't gonna like it she don't like being downtown for shit i'm like oh ho, ho, ho. now if you would have closed your place to marry me you wouldn't be in that lawsuit right about now but it is what it is we're gonna digress and i'll see y'all next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel now both of them make it make sense in this one okay definitely subscribe subscribe share my videos guys and like all of them. Okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.